So I woke up to a bunch of orders to ship out, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Shout out to the people that said, yo, Amelia, just print out your shipping labels at home. I'm actually using a service that does it for me so that way I don't have to wait in line and it works a lot better. And like somebody else said, that you could schedule pickups for USPS to come pick it up. Now, I'm, I didn't schedule a pickup. I'm just going to throw it in a couple duffel bags. But as you see, we have a bunch of orders going out, shipping the labels as we speak. So today should be a good day. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm first going to start off at the post office, drop off all of this stuff, then kind of kind of see how it goes. Uh, I do need to go to Publix, get some food for today as well. Everyone was mad the captain wasn't in yesterday's video, so we have to say what's up to him. He's kind of chilling, chewing on his bone. Hi, right, little guy. People love seeing you. People love seeing you, little man. You know that? Yeah? Yeah, I know. So I really do appreciate everyone's support. This is the reason why I can continue to make these daily vlogs. Again, link down below, emcvlogs.com. Check it out, buy something good for you. One thing that I do like or prefer using this little website that lets me ship out the printing labels is that it gives me a discount rate, for example, Padded flat rates at the USPS would be like $7.20. With mine, it's only $6.20. So basically, I'm saving a dollar on every one. Now, a dollar might not sound a lot, but to be honest, when you're shipping 50, 60, 100 plus packages, it definitely adds up for every pen it saves. A day in the life of Captain would be nothing but him sleeping, chewing his bone, going potty. Look at him just sleeping. <laughs> his little eye. What's up, guy? You sleeping? You're always sleeping. You're always sleeping, little guy. All right, so we got this big duffel, we got this small duffel, and then this box. Let's head to the post office. Super long receipt from all those orders. Oh my gosh. But I quickly had to run home. One, to drop off the big duffels, and two, I totally forgot my wallet, so I couldn't even stop at a thrift store or even go to Publix or anything because I didn't have my wallet to buy stuff. So now I gotta get my wallet and pick it up. This guy. I haven't been to this thrift store in a while. We actually have to go on an upper store. Downstairs is actually the, the furniture. I didn't really find anything good last time, but I figured, you know what, let's try it out. It's not a normal thrift store, not a normal Goodwill. It probably doesn't get too much traffic for people like me that are looking for vintage. Toys, look at this carpet. <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh, look at that. BMW bear. That's sick. Vintage, maybe? BMW by Gund. And this is what I was talking about. Literally the first t-shirt I see is a Tommy Hilfiger Athletics big logo. Hilfiger Athletics. Nice cop. T-shirts are $3. Not too bad. 1995 Super Bowl. We have the Chargers for the San Francisco. It does have some yellowing, but to be honest, I might be able to take that out. It is on a Logo 7 t-shirt. Might get this. To be honest, this is something I wouldn't normally cop, but since I am going to SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale, I feel like maybe someone would want this. It's a vintage made in USA on like a faded gray, but has a nice embroidered colored fish with the Fort Lauderdale logo. I feel like maybe someone might cop this at SneakerCon. Man, this store is coming out nice. Look at this Winnie the Pooh. Huge print on the Mickey ink tag. Made in USA. Nice. 1998, we got the Florida Marlins baseball and like this super thin waffle knit shirt. Basic polo sport. Another basic polo sport Ralph Lauren. No branding or anything on it. I like this shirt, so it's a Steamboat Colorado, has like that vintage look. It's not a single stitch though. And then it has, if you can read this, pull me out of the snow. That's so funny. I've never seen this before. So we have the hundreds shirt with like the ball and chain, and then the hundreds. It's pretty cool. Got the vintage made in USA, tie-dye. And what's cool about this is this is actually machine did, like a machine made this, not hand done. You guys know I've been buying all these mountain shirts. We got this like Jurassic dinosaur, crazy. I saw this peeking through as I was looking through the t-shirts. got the vintage Adidas with like the fleece inner lining. 
three stripes going down. Unfortunately, no big logo or anything. Probably gonna pass on this though. I love finding shirts from out of the country. So we have this Roma Italy hard rock. So sick. Carlos Santana signature series hard rock. Made in USA. Really nice. Very, very nice. Same exact one. This one's Planet Hollywood, Celebrity Addiction. Someone probably dropped off all of them. Heaven O'Clock. Damn, and another Carlos Santana. So now we have two of these, and you just saw that they're going both for 70 bucks each. Where's the other one? I'll show you. Just so you guys don't think I put it up twice. It is right here. Oh my god. There's one. There's two. I'm basically sold out of the Black History, so it's nice that I found another one too. Got the double sided, nice colors too. Hell yeah. Got the FUBU spell out with the huge embroidery, a little patch right there. No other sign. There is a small hole right on that though. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cop. I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a discount for buying so many t shirts. Cause I got this whole cart filled. Got the old school vintage Columbia with the neon pink fleece liner and like neon blue outer. The little Columbia hit right there. This is pretty fire. We got the all embroidered Looney Tunes. Warner Brothers. Not sure the year though. 1997. Nice. Hiding in the dress shirts, we got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger Athletic size 2XL. Hilfiger Athletics with the pinstripe and going all down the sleeves. Definitely a nice little pickup. This store has been like a little honey hole. It's crazy. Whole cart. As far as the bag section, nothing too pop. Then found this Jansport like mesh backpack, but eh, other than that, nothing. Nothing really worth grabbing today. What is this? Traveler. Nope. Well guys, you know when you get like that feeling like I just gotta go to the store? That's exactly what happened today. I haven't been to the store in months and I figured, you know what, let's stop by. Literally a whole entire backpack filled with nothing but fire and vintage all for you guys. Now I'm gonna hit one more store right next door, but then I'm just gonna head back home, get some Publix, get some, grab some food as well. Another store, another fine. Homer Simpson from 1990. And then I also found this, uh, Zach Thomas, Miami Dolphins. It's like a size medium. Well, another backpack full of finds means another load of laundry. So basically I'm gonna wash all of these, spray some uh, OxyClean spray and wash or whatever, get all the stains out. Quickly run to Publix, grab some dinner while this is washing. Then when it's finished drying, I will obviously show you guys the daily finds of today. So let's go to Publix. Start off with some Gatorade. Uh. Oh, these are my favorite. Well, I go through a phase, but right now I'm feeling these candies. And of course, they're buy one, get one free. Shout out to Publix. So I've had chili, I've had pasta, but tonight, I think it's taco night. We're gonna get some tacos, we're gonna get some taco meat. The first thing, oh, look at this. Everything is buy one, get one free. You guys are probably thinking like, what the hell? Or like, how do they make money if everything is buy one, get one free? So basically, I get the standing shells, like the hard shells, just because it's easier to stack. And it comes with like the taco seasoning and sauce. So we're gonna get two of these. So the meat is actually on sale, $5 a pound. So I'm gonna get the two pounds for 10 instead of splitting it like last time. And then I'll just have extra taco meat for the extra days. Need some toilet paper as well, two for 10, $5. That's not bad at all. Let's get the pick a size though. Perfect. Kitchen bags are a necessity. Where are you gonna throw away your shit at? All right, now we gotta throw them in the wash. A little trick, personal t-shirts, I don't put in the dryer ever. Um, I just don't, especially if a shirt is too small and I want to stretch it out to make it bigger, you definitely do not put it in the dryer. Well, fast forward a few hours and the tacos is basically done. So basically all I did was just cook the meat the taco shells came with like a powder. You mix the powder with water and then that's like the sauce. And then I kind of let it just marinate throughout. Then I heat up the buns. Then I heat up the shells. Put sour cream, cheese, salsa, and that was a good day. 
So the clothes just got out of the dryer and today I'm honestly surprised at the finds that we found. You know, I was walking to this thrift store just thinking, oh, let me just go to this store, maybe show you guys some content. But literally we left with about, I think, 16 t-shirts, one jacket, and then we went to the other store and found two t-shirts. So all in total we found about 18, 20 t-shirts and one jacket just from two thrift stores. So I, f I think that was one of the best days we've had in a while. And I'll show you guys, we have this size 2XL vintage Tommy Hilfiger Athletics in like the white cream colorway with the ribbon going down each sleeve. Next, we have probably about a size medium. We have this made in USA vintage tie-dye t-shirt. And the thing I like about this is like I said, it's not handmade. This is actually machine made from the early, I want to say 90s because it is single stitch, but it is... Uh, it's kind of cool when you see like machine made tie dye versus just the hand tied. Captain, I'm doing the you I'm doing this. You you can't come here. Yeah. Yeah, go over there. And I think I cop this shirt for personal, but I am just going to show you guys anyways. It might be on the website if it doesn't fit how I want to, but basically it's upside down. It says if you can read this, pull me out of the snow, and then on the front it has the Steamboat Colorado in like this off-white cream colored t-shirt. Next, we found this 1990, see the timestamp right there, Homer Simpson's Why You Little, and to be honest, this is really good condition. There was a few spots up here, but I did spray that uh, stain removal, and it did clean up really nicely. The tag says XL. But you can also check link down below. Everything that I'm showing you guys right now will be for sale, as well as I will put measurements. You know, sometimes it fits like a large XL. I will put the measurements in the bio so that way you guys know if it will fit you or not. Next, we have a Tommy Hilfiger Athletics in the navy colorway. Now, it says size XL, but to be honest, I think it could fit a 2XL just because it's like that vintage uh, big fit. Basically sold out of all my Black History shirts, so this is about a size medium, double-sided. I like the back side too because it has like that Rasta colors with like the green, red, and black mixed in. 1996 Florida Marlins. And if you guys can tell, this is like on like a super thin like woven, almost like a thermal. But it's very thin t-shirt. And it's probably about a size XL, large XL. 1995, we have the Super Bowl from the San Diego Chargers and 49ers. I like how the helmet's like kind of shiny still. And this is about a large. Not sure exactly what this had to do but I picked it up just because I kind of like the color I don't know if you guys can tell it's like an off cream color it has that little hundreds logo right there and then on the front it has the hundreds little and then it has that little thing if you guys know comment down below it is a size large we have this planet Hollywood Sylvester Stallone it says Hercules o'clock with a little like skeleton then on the front it does have planet Hollywood celebrity edition this says size XL now these shirts we struck gold on these. Now, this is from 1996, or sorry, 1997, and they're Carlos Santana Hard Rock, like Celebrity Edition t shirts. There's one on eBay for 50, and there's one on eBay for 100. So, either way, we're, we came up gold. And what's even better is we found two of them. So, this fits about a, about a medium, and then this one fits about a large. So, I don't know if maybe it was like husband and wife, or just maybe the guy got two of them, but it's kind of crazy we found two of them. Next, we did get this Pooh Disney Animal Kingdom. It's on the Mickey Ink tag. And this print honestly feels like it's brand new. It is a size large too. Next, we have a size about small, medium, Miami Dolphins, Zach Thomas, number 54. You guys know I've been copping all these mountain shirts and they've honestly, you guys have been buying them. I mean, granted my prices are cheap, you know, t-shirts about eight to $10. Uh, the jackets are about 14 to $24. Uh, my prices are pretty fair. So we have like this, I don't even know. I'm get obviously it's a dinosaur. I don't know what it is. If it's a T-Rex, I don't know what it is. But it's on like a dyed green, big logo. It says size large, but to be honest, it could probably fit maybe a medium. But again, link down below. I will put the measurements on all the listings. So make sure you guys check it out. In the last couple finds we have this Hard Rock Roma Italy with the little statues all from Roma. Little patch right there, Hard Rock. And then on the front it does say Hard Rock Cafe Rome. Now this is made in USA, heavy T, and it says it's a large. And the last find of today, we have this FUBU with like the super big embroidery, the little tab right there on like this cream color oatmeal. 
and it is a size XL as well. I apologize for always copying large in XL. I literally look through every single t-shirt. It just happened that the vintage that I usually find is a bigger size. But I do find some small stuff. I did get some mediums today. So again, check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. Every purchase really helps me make these daily videos. But I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'm gonna quickly eat some dinner, then I'm gonna take a shower and kinda just relax for the night, hang out with Captain. I gotta feed him as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's little video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.